Hey what's up guys, Nicholas Marsink here, and today we're going to be learning how to activate Beast Mode on your Galaxy S10. Now the phone's already pretty fast, but we can make it a little bit faster. Let's jump into settings first. And now we're going to scroll all the way down until you see About Phone. So click that, and here we are in About Phone. The one that we want to click now is Software Information. And you got a few options here. We are most interested in our build number, so we're going to tap that a few times until we get our pin. I'm going to move my phone. And now you have a new option, Developer Options. I'm going to scroll all the way down until we see some new animations. Now here, we want to change the animation speed in order to make our phone feel like it's faster, even though all we're doing is just making the animations a little bit quicker. To demonstrate this, I'm going to jump into Window and change that to 10x. And this is going to be extremely slow. Look at that. But if I put on 0.5, it's quick. It's off, and it's on, and it's off, and it's on. Now, if you don't even care about the animations, you can turn it off, and now it's just super speedy. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on 0.5, and do the same for our transition animation, and we'll do the same thing for the animator. Cool. All right, so the next tip is going to make performance a little bit better and help out with battery life. We're gonna jump back into settings, go up to display, and we're going to scroll down to screen resolution. So when you get your phone for the first time, your phone is going to be set to FHD+, which is like 1080p. But mine is set now to uh, WQHD+. So I'm going to put it back to FHD+, and go ahead and apply that. And what's going to happen is your screen is going to be at 1080p, so it's pushing less pixels. And that should be better for performance and for battery life. Now, here's a fun tip that you may not know. If you have a bunch of apps on your recently opened multitasking here, do you delete it? No, you don't. You actually want to leave all your apps here because it's better for performance and app loading times. For instance, if we jump out of here and we go into Twitter, for instance, go ahead and click that, it's instant. However, if I go and remove Twitter and try to reopen it, you're going to see that it takes much longer to load. However, if it's already in the cache, it's instant. So you actually want to leave your applications open. I know back in the days we wanted to go ahead and delete everything and close all apps, but the S10 has tons of RAM. So you really don't have to worry about app management here. All right, so back to beast mode. This is going to be the last tip. We're going to go ahead and open up our settings app one more time. And we're going to scroll down to you see device care. All right, so we're gonna let that happen. This is Samsung's built-in app management, and it's gonna check your cache, your memories, your apps, delete stuff that doesn't need to be there. Right now, I just freed up 402 megabytes, which is great. Um, this is something you don't need to do every single day. You can do this once a week or every other day, um, but it goes ahead and does everything for you. And that's it, you've just activated beast mode on your brand new Galaxy S10.